So what I'm going to do is I have some um, onions, which are green onions. I have some green pepper. I have some orange and red pepper, as well as some sal or celery, some mushrooms, some onions, some garlic, and as well as those hot peppers. So I'm going to, now that I have this chopped up, I'm going to put it in the frying pan and we're going to make some lasagna. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ragu and the diced tomatoes as well as the whole tomatoes and some tomato paste and I'm going to put it in this pot. I actually started to do it and I realized I needed to record it so we're just going to put all the ingredients in there and then we're going to mix it up. And here's the tomatoes. It is a rather large pot, but I plan to make enough that I can freeze lasagna. And here's the ones that are cut up. So I'm just going to skip to the next step where frying up the hamburger and show you what that looks like and why I have that frying up. I'm definitely going to have this simmering on a low temperature. So now we're going to take the hamburger, which I have some lean ground beef right here, and I'm going to place it in there. And I'm also going to put a tad bit of water in there, just to make sure it doesn't burn. And while that one's going, I'm going to make a second one as well because I'm making a fair bit of lasagna. And I have some garlic here that I'm going to put in. And I'm going to put some in the other one. And I'm going to put some onions in there. And I'm going to put some mushrooms in. And I'm going to fry it up with the actual hamburger while the hamburger's getting ready. And some celery. That way the flavor is all through it. Here's some of those little green onions, which I love. And some red and orange uh, bell peppers, which I love again. And some green, as well as some of those hot peppers, and we're going to put those in. And that's where we're, we're going to put in there, and we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper which I have right here. Now, depending on how much salt and pepper you like, you can add in your own. I'm not going to add any garlic spice or any um, onion or anything like that because I have enough of it in there as well. If you prefer to add some in, go ahead. So I'm going to fry this up and show you the next step. As you can see, the meat is cooking up rather nicely, and I still do have some water in there just to make sure everything doesn't burn, and it helps with tenderizing the uh, vegetables. And I have another one over here, so making a lot of lasagna, so we're just going to fast forward to where it's all fried up, and I'll show you what it looks like. So while the hamburger is cooking up, what we're going to do is we're going to take two kinds of cheese. We're going to take mozzarella, and we're going to take some marabou, and we're going to slice it up for we'll have some cheese to put on this lasagna once it's ready for that step. So I'm just going to take probably about three quarters of the block, and I'm going to start shredding it, and I'm going to put it into this casserole dish where I can put it in the fridge. and. I'm just going to start making the uh, cheese. So I'm going to fast forward and show you what it looks like once I have a bunch done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make our lasagna. And how we're going to do that is I have a casserole dish there that I'm going to put in the oven. 
So first what we're going to do is we want to cover the bottom with a thin layer of sauce just to get the noodles not to stick to the bottom. Spread it around. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some noodles that are oven ready and we're just going to lay them flat. And they will expand a little bit in the uh, oven so you don't need to worry about being completely perfect with the amount you put in there. And I'm just going to put one at the bottom here. And there's another one. So now that we have that, I'm going to take the meat that I have fried up here. And I'm going to sprinkle that on. And then we're just going to flatten it out a little bit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some cheese that I have. And as you can see, I have the cheese right there. And it's uh, mozzarella and marble. So we're going to take some of the marble here and we're going to sprinkle it on. Now how much cheese you use depends on how much you like. I like a lot of cheese, so I'm just uh, going to sprinkle it on. And then after we sprinkle that on, what we're going to do is put another layer of sauce in there. Okay, so now we get some sauce. We just sprinkle it. So there we have that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take another layer of noodles. And we're just going to repeat. So I'm going to skip forward while I do this. And I'm going to show you it once it's done and just about to go in the oven. So I'll fast forward to that. We have the oven preset to 375 for this lasagna. Now we're going to wrap it up. I just wanted to show you what the lasagnas look like before you uh, put them in the oven. And as you can see with the excess sauce, you cover it up. So I'm just going to wrap them up in tin foil and put them in the oven and bake them for an hour and show you what they look like. So I just took the lasagna out of, the, out of the oven and it's been baking. So I just wanted to show you a quick look of what it looks like now that it's out of the oven. So 